so at the age of four, I was taken and introduced into the shape-shifting program, which essentially was like in a parkade area. And there was, uh, I wrote it down, psychologists, cognitive behaviorists, psychotherapists, and classical conditioning instructors. And their job was to break the conditioning that I'm a 3D vessel and that, um, you know, we can actually do whatever we want. You can fly, you can shapeshift, you can do whatever. So there was several kids in the program and some kids were better at shapeshifting. I wasn't great at it. I was okay. Um, but some kids didn't make it into that program, they were diverted into another program because they weren't able to come up with forms that were functional. For example, there was one kid that turned into a turtle. <laughs> so um, they couldn't use him. But there was another a female that turned into an eagle and that was used for surveillance. Um, I myself was a blue wolf and um, there was another being that turned into a cat, but it wasn't quite a cat. It had this armor plating that went up its face. So it was actually quite terrifying. And it w was it actually on all four legs or two legs or, you know, bipedal? It was on oh, four right. It was four legs, yeah. Um, How big it, was the cat, the creature? Probably like 900 pounds, just like six or seven feet long, I imagine. Can, can you explain why, how, um, say a, a small, I'm assuming maybe eight, nine year old child could shape shift into something bigger than what it already, when it is, how does it get extra mass to do that? So I don't know all the minutia of the, the programming, but I do know a couple of things. Um, our body is a holographic image. And in order to change that, you need to first free your mind and of conditioning that makes you believe that you are in a set form. Uh, after that happens, then you can be, you have to think of a template in your mind very clearly of what you'd like to become. So this, uh, this is like you creating a psychic construct. Um, and once you create the construct, you can change your holographic image into this psychic construct. And it doesn't really have to do with mass. It's just a density of energy. So that's how they change. So I had a code name, Dingo, and another name was Jackal. So I don't know how well you can see this, but. All right, and he, this guy is blue? He's blue, yeah. So you can't see the feet there, but on the feet, uh, the tail can disappear in combat. You know, I'll just, I'll just read what it does, okay? Uh, he's about seven feet tall. He's uh, denim blue, emerald blue, and cobalt blue. He has the ability to teleport, uh, but it's, it's actually called blinking, and it's a short teleport. It's like 10 to 12 feet. Um, enhanced psionics and telepathy, telekinesis and other stuff, regeneration, strength of eight or nine men, and able to move a tank three or four feet from a charge but it damaged, it damaged my body because I can remember that. And he runs uh, 128 kilometers per hour. So pretty fast. And I have memories of running next to a truck on a highway on like an airway strip. And um, they were trying to match my speed and see how fast I could go. And I have vivid memories of just jumping out of the back of an airplane with no parachute or anything and landing on my feet just from using telekinesis on the bottom of my feet, that was totally fine. 